this is automatic. I don't know how many, I don't know if you've even heard this yet, Buck. The minute that the press conference was over, someone co-opted the uh, the press availability and immediately started screaming about the need for gun control. I, I just want to play you this because this is where we are as a country. Um, they literally just finished updating. We still don't know who is responsible here, any of the details. And this was a woman who took over the mic and just started talking. Aren't you guys tired of covering this? Aren't you guys tired of being here and having to cover all of these mass shootings? I'm from Highland Park family vacation with my son visiting my sister-in-law. I have been lobbying in D.C. since we survived a mass shooting in July. I have met with over 130 lawmakers. How is this still happening? How are our children still dying and why are we failing them? Gun violence is the number one killer of children and teens. It has overtaken cars. All right, I'm going to stop that. So, Buck, think about where we are as a nation. This woman according to her own statement there, is vacationing in Nashville, sees that there is a mass shooting at a school, goes to the mass shooting event. As soon as the update is over, before the microphones are turned off, she co-ops the microphone and immediately begins making a political argument. I, 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 like I said, they won't even wait. They won't even wait till we find out the casualty figure from the police. They're making arguments about politics right away. That is the mentality. Think about think about that for a minute, everybody out there. As we are waiting to see what happened, why it happened, who did this, this person vacationing in Nashville travels to the, the scene of a shooting and immediately co-ops the microphone to make a political argument literally seconds after actual officials step away from the microphones. So for those of you out there who say, well, you know, let's give thoughts and prayers to the family. Let's try to figure out exactly what happened. Buck, as you well know, virtually every time a mass shooting occurs, it's the case that the person who had the weapons violated the law to have the weapons, right? Uh, so this idea that, oh, if we just had more gun laws, these people wouldn't have access to guns. No, most of the time they have broken the law to get their guns or they never should have had them because they already had violent acts in their past that would have kept them from having access to firearms. Assuming that the report is correct, that this is a, a teenage female in possession of the uh, two rifles and a handgun, there's definitely... Crime, there's definitely possession crimes. This person broke the law. This person's now deceased also, but uh, broke the law with regard to that. And, and also, as we know, there are, there are laws about guns in a school zone. This person broke those laws too. So, the, and then there are the laws against murder and, and all the rest of it. So when you look at this, people trying to make a policy or a political argument out of it, um, they're just going to try to exploit the very raw emotions right now, uh, the sadness and the, the tragedy surrounding the incident. And um, it's it's wrong. It's gross. Honestly, people should be more respect. Like, remember, the, what did I say just 30 minutes ago? I think they're just going to jump onto this as a political issue right away. No grieving allowed. No coming together as a community allowed without a lecture. That was one gun act anti gun activist. I think we're going to be getting lectures, unfortunately, Clay, from a much more prominent place than that here pretty soon but we'll see thoughts and prayers to all the nashville parents out there i am one of them certainly anyone with school kids in covenant school it's been a brutal monday start to the week here in nashville